what to expect from your initial consultation with the bankruptcy attorney and what you should bring to that consultation. Please, it is important to not cancel the consultation simply because you cannot provide all this information, but the more information you can provide, the better picture the attorney will be able to have and give you the proper advice on a solution to your particular situation. The initial office visit is intended to equate you with the basic information about bankruptcy and to assess your current financial situation in order to determine your need and eligibility for the filing of a bankruptcy case. This will include information about the types of bankruptcy provided by each of the chapters and how each chapter works what types of debts can be forgiven, what property you can keep, what debts you need to keep paying, how to value property in bankruptcy, and how to complete the petition forms, plans, schedules of property, and schedules of your debt. As part of this process, your attorney will evaluate your financial situation to determine your need and eligibility for filing a bankruptcy case. The new bankruptcy law requires that you provide proof that you are who you say you are. Please bring with you to your initial visit an official photo identification such as a driver's license and your social security card. The new bankruptcy law requires that you provide proof of your average monthly gross income from all sources for the last six months beginning with the first month before your scheduled office visit. Please bring with you to your initial office visit all available pay stubs or other records of income for the past seven months to include records or receipts from employment, tips, bonuses, commission, child support, spousal support, support from someone paying or sharing your living expenses, rental income, unemployment compensation, social security, retirement, pension, interest, dividends, or income from any other source. If you are married, then you will need to provide this information for both you and your spouse, even if your spouse will not be filing bankruptcy with you. The new bankruptcy law requires that you provide proof of any deductions from your income to include federal and state taxes, retirement plan contributions, retirement plan loan repayments, insurance, court-ordered payments, garnishments, and all other deductions, whether voluntary or involuntary. If you have your own business, you must provide a complete listing of all your monthly business expenses, including a year-to-date or recent monthly profit and loss statement for your business, if possible. Please bring with you to the initial office visit as much documentation as you have available for the last seven months pertaining to your income. Please provide monthly statements from your bank, credit union, or other financial institution for the last several months. The new bankruptcy law requires that you provide proof of your annual gross income for the last three years and proof that you file tax returns for these years. Please bring with you to your initial office visit copies of your filed income tax return for the last three years. If you have not filed any of these tax returns, please bring in that process as soon as possible, as we will not be able to file bankruptcy until those tax returns are filed. The new bankruptcy law requires a listing of your monthly household expenses, including those for your mortgage or rent, utility services, such as electricity, gas, oil, propane, water, and sewage, your telephone service, your cable service, television service, home maintenance, food, clothing, laundry and dry cleaning, medical and dental, transportation, recreation, clubs, entertainment, charitable contributions, insurance such as your homeowners or renters, life insurance, health insurance, and automobile insurance, taxes on your property, alimony, maintenance, child support, etc. Please bring with you to your initial office visit as much documentation as you have available for the last seven months. The new bankruptcy law requires a listing of all your debts including those for your credit cards, your medical bills, personal loans, automobile loans, 
furniture loans, jewelry loans, lawsuits, and etc. Please bring with you to your initial office visit as much documentation as you have available for the last 90 days on all such debts. The bankruptcy laws require documentation of all your contracts and security agreements, including those for your mortgages and leases, refinancing, transfer of ownership, timeshares, stocks, car loans and leases, furniture rentals and leases, jewelry loans, etc. Please bring with you to your initial office visit as much documentation as you have available for the last four years. The bankruptcy laws require that you provide proof of insurance on all property secured by a lien including homeowner's insurance, automobile insurance, etc. Please bring all this information with you on your initial office visit. If you are paying any child support, alimony, or support you need to bring all documents associated with such payments. You must provide some proof that you are current on these obligations and provide the name and address where those documents are required to be sent. The production of other documents as required by the new bankruptcy law includes those of any bankruptcy you have filed within the last eight years, a list of all your addresses for the last three years, documentation of any felony conviction, money or property seized from a trust or probate estate, educational IRAs or tuition programs, etc. Please bring these with you to your initial office visit. This video was narrated by attorney Joseph Botello of the Botello Law Group, located at 901 Eastern Ave, Suite 2, Fall River, Massachusetts, 02723. Give us a call and set up your free consultation at 888-269-0688 or reach us on the web at www.batellolawgroup.com. Thank you.